What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and this time it is Crown Jewel Edition. So in today's setup video, guys, we do have Crown Jewels edition of the WWE action figure setup. You guys will see we got all kinds of stuff going on, and we have this side over here filled out. So we got two for one in this one, just like we did with the biggest horror setup ever. I like that I have two setups now. You know, I can do, you know, one big one here in this main part, and then over in the other part. Yeah, I got a blister on my finger from painting a lot, man. Freaking bull crap. Anyways, guys, you guys know that Crown Jewel is coming up on Halloween night, and uh, I wanted to do an action figure set up for we have predictions as well and you guys know we always do a setup for the pay-per-view the hell was that oh now oh now ricochet fell dead gum farts We'll set that back up in a moment. Interesting. But anyways, you guys know that we always do a pay-per-view themed setup before, you know, a pay-per-view is coming up. And since this show is like a one-off live event and stuff, I'm not going to go too far into it. I'm, I kind of played around with this a little bit, and you guys will see what I'm talking about. It has a little bit of fantasy in it, but I figured I would keep it entertaining for you guys. This is our Crown Jewel WWE action figure setup. Let's get into it and show off what we've done. All right, guys, so we're going to start off on this side right here, and it is Braun Strowman, and all he's doing is going to collect a fat check because we don't have a Tyson Fury action figure but we know him and Tyson Fury are going one on one so I wanted to go ahead and set it up here and have him going to collect that fat check for fighting Tyson Fury. I think he signed like a over a million dollar per year contract too so he's going to go get that fat check and that's what Braun Strowman, Strowman is doing. Nothing too crazy there. Right here in the front guys you will see Randall Keith hitting Roman Reigns with an RKO. Now what this is this is part of a big old scene right here between Team Hogan and Team Flair. You guys know that's like the big thing right? Team Hogan versus Team Flair. Well, right here we have the two team captains, Randy Orton hitting an RKO on Roman Reigns. I think uh, the last few setups I've had Roman Reigns going over, getting spears, Superman punches, being the guy that is on the offense. So I figured change it up a little bit, give the nod to my boy Randy Orton right here, hit Roman Reigns with an RKO and everything will be okay. So I got Randy Orton hitting the RKO out of nowhere on Roman Reigns. If we come to the forward right here, guys, you will see Chad Gable, Shorty G, looking fire in his basketball attire. Still working on a custom for that. But Shorty G is laying the smackdown on Trash Corbin. Trash King Corbin right here getting absolutely smack daddied. So that is what he is getting right there. You know, I'm not big on the Shorty G thing, but it seems that it is getting him over. However, how long is that push going to last, guys? You know, it's going to be very telltale to see, and I guess we'll find out. But I'm hoping that Shorty G holds his own at Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia. So hopefully that happens for Chad Gable. But he is beating the hell out of Trash Corbin right here. Now we come up here, guys, you will see this interesting thing that you guys saw at the beginning of the video, but it's supposed to be Drew McIntyre power bombing Ricochet into this garage door right here, but then he freaking fell, and I'm just going to try and set it up real quick. And there we go. So there it is, getting power bombed into the garage door. So I, I couldn't have all the heels or all the faces dominating, so I wanted to flip it back and forth. We had Randy Orton, the heel over Roman Reigns. Then we had Shorty Dree, the ba Dree, what the fuck am I saying? Shorty G, the face, destroying Trash Corbin, the heel. So I wanted to have the heel getting on the baby face here with Drew McIntyre and Ricochet. Right here, guys, this is not, obviously this is not, you know, anything to do with Team Hogan and Team Flair, but it is the WWE Champion Brock Lesnar going one-on-one one with Cain Velasquez and this figure right here it kind of looks like Cain Velasquez from the top doesn't it I mean the face down what it is is one of those uh I think it's a Nikolai Volkov head sculpt or whatever the hell that guy's name was his head sculpt on some other body I don't even freaking know but Brock Lesnar's beating the hell out of him because I think that's what's going to happen I think Brock will end up winning at Crown Jewel could be wrong about it but that's what I'm going to go with in Cain Velasquez like having to be out with a knee surgery or soldier surgery or something so since Cain Velasquez will be like oh my my God, Ricochet. So since Kane Velasquez is going to be going away with injury, guys, I think that Brock Lesnar is going to, we're going to have like some little work shoot where Brock Lesnar busts him open like he did Randy Orton that time at SummerSlam or something, and it's going to write him off TV for a while, and then he'll probably come back if he even gets to come back. I think like uh, he 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 may be out forever, I think. I saw rumors where it said, it said that he may be out like indefinitely, so we'll just have to see, and, and hopefully that's not the case for Kane Velasquez because I know he was excited about wrestling. And we come just behind Brock, guys. You will see Cesaro loading up Mansoor. Is that his name, Mansoor? He is loading up Mansoor because they are going one-on-one -on -one Mansoor, obviously, from Saudi Arabia. He won that big 55-man Greatest Royal Rumble, right? No, that was Braun Strowman. He won that 
pathetic battle royal from the other uh, the other show. I, I don't remember. Anyways, Mansoor is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Cesaro, and Cesaro's taking out his frustrations because he knows he's going to have to do the job to Mansoor, and Mansoor is going to pick up that victory. So Cesaro, it's like, no, F that, man. I'm about to smack you right now. So Cesaro taking it to Mansoor, and I wanted to have that in the setup because I like Cesaro, man. He, sh he shouldn't be jobbing out like that. Right here, guys, we get a bit of fantasy going on. We have Mustafa Ali, and you guys know he has the, he has like the Iron Man thrusters in his hands, right? His entrance gear right there. So I had Shinsuke Nakamura either in front of or sitting in this wheelchair, and he just Iron Man pulsed him. If you guys know what I'm talking about, Iron Man does a little pulse action where he can like force you. He can like, hits him with a little pulse action, flies back in the wheelchair. Thought that was pretty cool. I'm a huge Iron Man mark. So I figured, nah, you know, give a little nod to Iron Man here and have Shinsuke pay the price to Mustafa Ali with the little, the Iron Man pulse to the wheelchair. And we go into the middle, guys, you will see another part of the setup, and that is Rusev finally getting his comeuppance on Bobby Trashley. You know, Bobby Trashley and Lana have been running around, and so Rusev finally gets his hands on him here in the setup, beating the tar out of him here in the setup, and I figured it was a good way to get some revenge. I like Rusev a lot, man, a lot more talented than Bobby Trashley, in my personal opinion. I would like to see Bobby Trashley get his comeuppance here and have Rusev beat the hell out of him. And what better way than in the setup right here going into Crown Jewel on separate teams. I hope we get to see these guys interact so we have Rusev over the top of Lashley here beating the hell out of him. If we go to the back guys you will see that the Fiend is laid out on this car right? I think they're having a false count anywhere match for the Universal Championship between the Fiend Bray Wyatt and of course, Seth freaking Rollins, my man up top there. And what we have here is him about to jump off this scaffolding with a frog splash on to Bray Wyatt. But the referee right here is telling him to not jump because if he jumps, he's going to be disqualified and the match is going to be called a no contest and then it's just going to be over and then and everybody's going to boo the shit out of him. But seriously though, I think that this is pretty cool. I hope they have a good match and I, I bet the Fiend's going to win. I would hope the Fiend was going to win. You know, I love Seth Rollins, but my God, it is, it is time for his Universal title reign to come to an end. They've, they've made him look like a joke. Everybody hates him now. A lot of people call him a clown. It's just sad to see. I love Seth Rollins, but geez, man. They booked him like a cuck. It's just, you hate to see it. But anyways, Seth Rollins is gonna drop this frog splash onto Bray Wyatt. Onto the hood of the car. Or he's gonna miss, and he's gonna lose. But that pretty much does it for this part of the setup, guys. Now I'm gonna take you over next door to the other part of the setup where it's kinda shadowy. Alright, guys, I apologize for the terrible lighting. I don't know what's up. But anyways, you guys know, again, it's it's Team Flair versus Team Hogan, right? So we got Flair getting dumped off the stretcher or the hospital bed right here. And we have three Hulk Hogans. These are all ringside exclusive Storm Collectible Hulk Hogans that you can go over to Ringside Collectibles right now and grab them using MD Toys as your promo code. You will save 10%. But we were sent these by Ringside Collectibles, so I wanted to show them off here in the setup and have them beating the hell out of Ric Flair, jumping this man, dumping over the hospital bed and getting in his face. So I thought it'd be funny to have a bunch of clones of Hulk Hogan beating beating the hell out of Ric Flair, ganging up on him because, you know, they're going head-to-head, -head, Team Hogan versus Team Flair and Crown Jewel. So what a better way than to have Ric Flair getting dumped off by the Hulk Hogan team here and his uh, his own personal Team Hogan with three of himself. I'm sure that's how he'd want it anyway, right? He doesn't need anybody else, just himself. Give us three Hogans versus all of Team Flair, and I'm sure that he'll go over. Besides that, guys, we do have the big tag team turmoil match, and right here we have Luke Gallows. All right, guys, I fixed the lighting, okay? I fixed the lighting, just F it. So right here we have the club beating the hell out of the New Day, but the New Day also beating the hell out of the club. You know, we have that big tag team turmoil match. So we have Big E getting the advantage on Carl Anderson, and then we have Luke Gallows getting the advantage over Kofi Kingston. Then we come right here you will see Scott Dawson laid to waste and over here we have Dash Wilder getting held and super kicked by Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler. My boy Ziggler right there getting the super kick and he's like no Brad F you man we were Raw Tag Team Champions we know you're the Smackdown Tag Team Champions you ain't better than us and hopefully maybe they'll take the tag titles from him I don't know they're, they're, I mean the, the both brands tag team titles mean absolutely nothing at the moment pretty sad to see. And then we finish off our setup guys with AJ Styles and if you guys will see here he's too sweeting himself now, the reason he's too sweeting himself is because there is a battle royal, right? There's a 20-man battle royal. The winner of the battle royal will face AJ Styles later on in the night, right? Since that is taking place, I have him giving a too sweet to himself because no matter who the hell wins the battle royal, I think AJ Styles will win the United States Championship. So that's what I'm going with there, and that will complete our setup. Now, you guys know how the setups work. I want you to comment down below your favorite portion of the setup. Did you like the Seth Rollins jumping off the scaffolding? You like the Ric Flair getting the 
them beat the hell out of by three Hulk Hogan's. You like Brock Lesnar beating the hell out of Cain Velasquez. Please let me know down in the comment section below. That's my favorite part to read your guys' favorite parts. I try to be as creative and fun as possible in these setups and bring some real liveness to it, as well as some fantasy from here to there. I also forgot about Ali doing the little Iron Man pulse to Shinsuke out of the wheelchair. That was a pretty cool moment, but let me know what your predictions are for Crown Jewel down in the comment section below. Leave me your favorite part of the setup as well. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.